So if you're asked to divide these two polynomials, um, first thing I guess I should say is that you need an x to the z. You need an x to the first power. You got to have all your x's. X, it starts on x to the third. Got an x squared. You need an x to the first, and then you need a number with no x. So you've got to have a missing piece here. So you can start by rewriting the problem like this. Okay. Um, <clears throat> So the problem rewritten like that, uh, the, the big reason we do that is just to help you with your arithmetic down the road. Just make sure you have x to the third, x squared. There's no x written, so I threw a 0x in because a 0 doesn't actually change anything. And now that we have all the descending powers, um, we can set it up like this. Uh, long division, just like we did with big numbers uh, you know, back, in, uh, back when we were in school, um, if you try to divide. 572 by 7, you'd have to set it up with that with this symbol right here. That's that division symbol, just like you've seen before. This time it's just more complicated. It's with variables. And so here's how it works. Your goal is to find a number. To, you're going to put a number up here, or a term, so that when you multiply it to x, it gives you x to the third to make that cancel out. Okay, and if you think about that for a second, you might recall that x squared times x bumps you up a power to x to the third. So that's, that's what we need. Uh, and then you just have to carry through. You chose x squared. Great, that worked. But now you need to do x squared times 3. That gives you a 3x. Oops, 3x squared. And now the next step is, since we want to make things disappear so we can boil that ourselves down to one answer, take this line, subtract it by this line. x to the third minus x to the third is gone, just like we wanted. 5x squared minus 3x squared gives us 2x squared. And then we've got to carry down that 0x piece that we put in. And then repeat the process. We need to find a number to multiply to x to give us 2x squared. And that number is 2x. Because the x times an x will give us an x squared, and the 2 times the 1 will give us a 2 right out front. So let's go through and... Uh, well, we know what that is. That's 2x squared. Just said that. But then we have to do 2x times 3 to give us 6x. We've got to do that carry through step like we did last time. And again... It's not addition. You do not add these. You've got to use subtraction. Subtract the two lines. And this always cancels out, just like it did before. But 0 minus 6, you had $0. You, you spent $6, because we're subtracting. So you're now $6 in the hole. Then carry down the negative 18. Then repeat the process one more time. You've got to find a number. To multiply to x, to give you negative 6x. That's just negative 6. Negative 6 times x gives you negative 6x. So we get negative 6x down here, and then you have to carry through. Negative 6 times 3 gives you negative 18. Oops. And when you subtract them, negative, subtracted by a negative makes, a, it makes an addition. So negative 6x plus 6x is gone. Negative 18 minus negative 18 is gone. We're at our final answer right here in red. x squared plus 2x minus 6.